Hey, welcome back to Sarge Streams. I'm Sarge, and I'm bringing music to the front lines to you guys today. And today we're doing Dimash Mademoiselle Hyde. Um, this is in 2019, I think. So, because I didn't want to come on here uneducated completely. I know we do a lot of things blind, but I've seen Dimash several times now. So we obviously know he's uh, very, very talented, right? Um, I went and watched uh, Lara Fabian. I guess they have a connection. Uh, outside of Igor, which is playing the piano down here. Um, I, I assume the mentorship between Igor and them and, and whatever. And I, I think there's even, um, you know, a friendship between them and, you know, just mutual respect is what I'm getting at. Anyway, long story short, I watched that version uh, of this song because I wanted to have an idea what I was even walking into. Now, when I look at Mademoiselle Hyde, I think to myself Jekyll and Hyde because of the Hyde portion of it, but I wouldn't have known otherwise. What I found out, obviously, it does have something to do with that. Um, my understanding, there's a whole, like, um, musical about uh, the Hyde situation, Jekyll and Hyde, basically. And so uh, maybe this is a play off that. I'm not completely sure. I don't have – look, guys, I don't have every detail. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, okay? But I did do the research a little bit. The one thing I will tell you is I understood that um, it, it appeared that – Lara, I think is how you say her name, um, seemed very uh, theatrical. She had like ticks and things of the characters and stuff like that, and so I really appreciated it. What we're doing today is we're going to review this or react to this technically um, and see if it's different, basically. At least that's the idea. Again, I don't have every detail. I'm not perfect, guys. Look, especially when it comes to a lot of foreign art out there, okay, um, you know, I just wasn't exposed to a lot of the things that we see today, you know, so it's like, you know, and I've only seen it once. Understand, guys, a lot of you, you know, you've seen these videos or some of these different reactions and whatever millions of times, probably, you know, and, and I know because I watch reactors um, after the fact, if they do something similar to the things that I'm doing, you know, or if it's the same song, I want to see what they got out of it. You know, after I've done all these things, learn something new, probably, because that's the thing. You know, you watch the reactors because you want them to react the way you kind of felt. And at the same time, you may learn something. So that's pretty dope. But again, not to be real long winded, but we're going to jump into this. It's four minutes and 22 so seconds long. Um, we all know Dimash is an absolute beast. Uh, the one thing I know is we're also in the same place that Lara um, did this as well. And uh, so that's got to be pretty special for Igor, uh, I'm guessing. Other than that, I, I, I really don't know what else to tell you guys. So let's just jump into it and uh, see what you think. Again, guys, as always, I always urge us, please go over to um, Dimash's channel, show him some support. Go over to Lara's channel and show her some support because, you know, she kind of fueled this. Um, and, you know, wherever their music is, any way you can support them. We're always appreciative of that, of course, you know, and should be. And I'm always appreciative simply because, you know, we have the art to react to it all. With that being said, as you guys know, I'm a reaction channel. We're going to stop and talk throughout this. If you don't like that, go see the original without the hate. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, let's jump in. There he is. There's the big man. Ooh. Ooh. The one thing I will say is it does sound very, like, with the music a little bit, it does sound very kind of, I mean, it does sound like a musical, right? Like, sort of almost like Disney. But the other thing I will note real quickly, and I, I'm sorry I stopped it already, was the background that Lara had was sort of blue or whatever, where this is more like red and fiery. So maybe that's going to influence how Dimash sings? No idea. Let's find out. One more thing. I'm so sorry to stop this again. I turned on the CCs because he's so light and airy in a lot of his words. It, it, it's, I have hard, basically, I have a hard time hearing. <laughs> okay, so sometimes I need them so I can make sure that I understand exactly what he says. Okay, it's, it just is what it is. I know he's, I know he's singing in English. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Just 
beautiful orchestra. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, man, it's haunting. His version so far seems very haunting. I love his air voice or his head voice and, you know, falsetto and airy feel. Um, and it, it just, <laughs> I don't know, man. It just, it stirs something different, man. It's, it's Dimash. What do you want me to tell you? You guys know. You feel it every time you listen to him, too. All right, let's keep going. She said Mademoiselle, but... So this one seems more dramatic. Like I felt like with um, Lara that she, again, I, and I said this in the beginning, but I felt like she was more dramatic. Like she was in sort of character, I guess, with the ticks and the things that she would do when she was the different people. Where I feel like Dimash is like sort of more grandioso with that. Again, love it. I love the compare, like not necessarily the comparison, but like the differences between the two and how they've interpreted it, uh, you know, in their own little ways. That's that's intriguing. And I also wonder how many of the same people uh, followed Eagle, e Igor, if I could speak today, Igor over from the first uh, time that he did this. I wonder if there's any of them in the orchestra or whatever behind him now. I, I bet there are. I bet there are at least a few, maybe. All right, let's keep going. Mr. Hyde. Woo, I like that dip. Love the shot right on the you know the choir basically. finish the rest of the video here in a second after I finish the thoughts. There's so many of these songs, all these songs that you see on here, I pretty much haven't done 
probably any of them. Um, so I got a lot of catalog to get through with Dimash. But I got to tell you this. I enjoyed it because it was not necessarily based off of a, a musical per se, but it's it's based off a, a, you know, a story that we all well know, uh, or at least should to a degree anyway. And, you know, it just reminds me of those choir days and things like that, you know, because you have, you know, theatrics and things of that nature that go in with all this stuff and you usually sing the songs with it and things and like I think that's why I enjoyed it the most it, it gave me a little nostalgia when it comes to you know the old like I said the old choir days and things but like um beautiful beautiful the comparisons between the two as far as that's concerned they obviously they both did a great job I know you guys didn't see the Lara portion that's why I'm explaining it now but um Again, I just really, I think I stand by what I say that, that Dimash gave a more, um, and beautiful, by the way, both of these were beautiful performances. Uh, there's nothing to, negative to take away from any of them. They're, they're technically perfect as far as I can tell. And again, I'm not like some big expert, but like, I know enough. With that being said, Dimash, always killing it. Very dramatic. I love that dip that he had and then the long note at the end. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I wish I even had a fragment of the talent. <laughs> Give him his flowers here, you know. Bravo. Yes, bravo. Um, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Wanted to make sure I played the entire video because I just didn't know if there was something else that he may do. I didn't want anybody to be upset about it by ending the video early. Um, anyway, with that being said, hey, look, this is lovely. If there's something else like this out there, Please, uh, you know, please recommend it down below. I do have a playlist for Dimash. Please check that out uh, because if there is something down there, you know, that you, you know, that you want me to do, put it in the comments, you know. But again, just check the playlist because, you know, there's a few that I've done like SOS and, you know, some of his major stuff. I have a few of those on there, but I don't have them all. Um, anyway, sorry to ramble, but like, look, it's been a lot of fun, man. I just really enjoyed it. I really did. Um I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope it's uh, hope it's a wonderful week for you, honestly. With that being said, I've been Sarge. Eat well. Be safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.